another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you the 2022 hyundai palisade se this is the base trim and there is four trims to choose from so i'm going to go ahead and show you all the features this base trim has under the hood there is a 3.8 naturally aspirated v6 it is connected to an a speed automatic transmission this engine produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque and the fuel economy numbers are 19 in the city 24 highway and 21 combined here is a msrp sticker of this 2022 palisade se if you guys are interested in the standard features it has, just go ahead and pause the video. And the price with destination is 37000 If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Typhoon Silver. And it does look okay on this 2022 Palisade SE. So there's four trims to choose from. There is the SE, SEL, Limited, and Calligraphy. And um, the SE is the base trim. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad for a base trim. For the headlights, they do have that split design. So up top, they're going to be the turn signal indicators, they're LED and part of the daytime running light. And then the daytime running light continues down. And uh, for the high and low beams, they are sitting in projector tube. And yeah, everything right here in the front is LED, which I really like for $37,000 and for a base trim. The grill has a nice look to it, finished in brushed aluminum. And uh, the Hyundai badge is nice and big, finished in chrome and in the bottom there is a functional bottom grill and this is the sensor for the braking assist there is some flat black in the bottom and some brushed aluminum and overall i think the design looks pretty good and um for a base trim it doesn't look that bad but let's go ahead and move to the side and i'll show you the side view of this se palisade here is a side view of this palisade and the side view looks not too bad there is a little bit of plastic in the bottom with some brushed aluminum all the window trims are finished in chrome there is some gloss black on uh, the doors for the rims they have an okay look to them for a base trim but for thirty-seven thousand dollars, i really wish that hyundai uh, made a little bit more effort into making the rims look a little bit better anyways the size is 245 60 18 so there's a good amount of rubber and uh, of course that's always good because that equals to more comfort when driving on the mirrors there is turn signal indicators and the bottom portion of the mirror is finished in flat black and uh, yeah overall the side view looks pretty good but let's go ahead and move to the back and i'll show you the back of this palisade for the back of the palisade i think it does look very good and by the way the 2023 palisade is going to be uh, different than this one so basically hyundai is doing a facelift on the 23 and it looks very very good and i've seen videos of it and seriously hyundai did a great job with the facelift palisade is written back here finished to chrome the hyundai badge is finished in chrome nice and big h track badge that means this is the all-wheel drive and by the way the tail lights have a nice look to them but not everything right here in the back is led actually everything right here in the back is halogen so there is no led in the back i really wish that uh, the running light was led reverse lights are located in the bottom with the reflectors around them and uh, there is some parking sensors in the bottom flat black brushed aluminum this one has the tow hitch it is a 475 dollars option and the exhaust tips are connected to the exhaust pipe and yeah overall the back looks pretty good the spoiler has a nice design to it and the wiper is right there i really wish it was hidden underneath the spoiler just to give the back of this palisade a cleaner look from the back here's the key of this palisade feels nice and light very solid does have three binds on it lock unlock panic button, and it's an actual physical key something like a honda civic base it has push to start so i really wish that the base was uh push to start anyways there is one way to open the lift gate and it is this button on the lift gate inside there is a good amount of space by the way this palisade has uh three row uh, seating and uh, it competes against the honda pilot the highlander the explorer and uh, the kia telluride but yeah there is a ton of space uh, with the third row down and underneath uh, there is a little bit of storage place let me see if i could actually show you let me actually remove uh, or push the spare tire to the front and show you what's underneath so underneath there is a good amount of storage place and um, that's where the jack is located and the tools are located the jack tools are located on the left but yeah guys good amount of space in the back of this suv two cup holders and uh, on the left there is the 12 volt the buttons to drop the second row down so let's go ahead and do that actually 
Let's see if I could drop. So let me go ahead and move the passenger and driver seats to the front and uh, drop the second row down. All right, so I dropped the second row down and uh, there is just a ton of space with the second row down. And yeah, this SUV is nice and spacious and uh, there's just a ton of space in it. Here is a front door panel and the front door panel has an okay design to it. This top portion right here is nice and soft. I like this uh, trim and it is very long. It extends all the way uh, to the end. The door handle, it's very, very light, finished in brushed aluminum. This is nice and soft. This is nice and soft. And uh, in the bottom, this is plastic, which is fine. Reflector in the bottom and a good amount of storage place uh, in this front door panel. All the window switches, mirror controls, everything honestly looks very good, very high quality. The front two windows are automatic up and down and uh, everything just feels and looks good. And um, seats are nice and comfortable. Design looks okay. And uh, they're not powered seats, manual seats. For a base trim is fine, but for $37,000 is not fine. And uh, by the way, there is a storage place in the bottom. You could put a purse in there and there is one 12 volt and one USB. But let's go ahead and move inside this Palisade and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. Alright, so here is the interior of this 2022 Hyundai Palisade SE. This is the base trim and honestly, it does look very good from the inside for a base trim. The steering wheel has a nice design to it and uh, there's some brushed aluminum. The ring itself, it's a little bit on the thinner side. It's not wrapped in leather. For $37,000, I really wish it was wrapped in leather. Hyundai logo is big, finished in chrome and uh, there is some paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. and. Um, there is few buttons right here on the left, voice command, phone, uh, phone controls, volume controls, and on the right is uh, the cruise controls. This one has adaptive cruise control but does not have steering assist, and this button right here will control that center display. And um, there's a good amount of information in it, so you could scroll up and down. And uh, the gauges look good um, for an SUV, for a family SUV, three row SUV. Uh, I think the gauges look pretty good. The font is nice and easy to understand. Some paddle shifters behind the steering wheel and there is um, the headlight controls with the tur turn signal controls and on the right is the wiper controls for the front and back. Air vents look good. To lock them, move them to the left and to basically open the vent, move it to the right and honestly, Hyundai is doing a great job with paying attention to details. This is finished in brushed aluminum. Primary control, blind spot monitoring system. I completely forgot to talk about, uh, to mention that this Palisade has a blind spot monitoring system. So it is on the mirror. And um, for a base trim, I think that's good. Link keeping assist, traction control, and the e-brake. And here is a screen. And um, after seeing the higher trims with the bigger screens, this eight inch screen honestly doesn't look that good. Um, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and just looks a little bit weird because it's too small. And uh, backup camera resolution is not too bad. It is nice and wide. And uh, Hyundai system overall is nice and responsive. And um, coming down, this is nice and soft. I really like this uh, trim. And um, there's some shortcuts right here volume knob, tool knob, and I really like the silver finish, some chrome on top, and for the climate controls, they're very easy to use. Fan speed, temperature control, it does have uh, one zone climate control here in the front, and one zone in the back, and uh, modes, rear, front, and uh, yeah, it's very easy to use. You could actually control the rear from here, which I did not know about that. So you can control the back. And uh, here is the shifter that will control the eight speed automatic transmission. All the buttons are push. So depress the brake and push the gear that you want to be in. And uh, here is the brake hold. Drive mode, you could lock the wheels. So uh, when you're stuck in snow, you click this button and all the tires will spin at the same time 
and uh, yeah it just basically gets you unstuck a little bit easier and uh, here is the engine shut off when you come to complete stop the engine will turn off parking sensors and hill descent and i really like this trim right here there's a cover right here that you could close to open it just push as it says but the way how it opens it's a little bit weird one usb and uh, the cup holders are actually hidden so you push this button cup holders will come out the 2023 kia sportage has this feature now very smart and Hyundai introduced it uh, on the Palisade first. There is a very good amount of storage place. The armrest is a little bit on the harder side and inside there is a very good amount of space. Nice deep tray and inside there is one USB, 112 volt and uh, as I mentioned there is a storage place in the bottom with 112 volt, one USB. So three USBs and two 12 volts total and uh, up here the rear view mirror is nice and big. Um, it's not frameless. Um, it has very nice thin bezels. No garage controls or anything like that. No auto dimming, which is expected from a base trim. This is not a glasses holder. This is a mirror, so you could see the people or the kits in the back. And of course, there is some halogen lights. This button right here will turn on all the lights, and this will keep the lights off when the doors are open. I really like the gloss black. And uh, for the visor, it's actually nice and soft, so that's good and uh, inside there is a good size mirror with a halogen light here is the back door panel and the back door panel has the same design as the front I'm glad that Hyundai brought this trim back here this is nice and soft just like the front the door handle very very light and uh, this is nice and soft more of that brushed aluminum uh, trim two cup holders one small one big which I like and uh, in the bottom there is barely any storage place I think Hyundai could have made the storage place in the bottom of the store a little bit bigger and for the back seats or the second row there's a good amount of leg room and headroom is very good and uh, you could actually move those seats to the back or to the front this hand right here will um, recline the back portion of the seat and this will basically uh, put the seat in this position so you could access the third row I'm not gonna hop in the third row because there is a spare tire and there is the tunnel cover um, or the privacy cover uh, but I do have other Palisade videos. You guys could watch them if you want to. Um, anyways, the seats are nice and light. And uh, there is this metal thingy. You pull on to basically move the seat to the front or to the back. And um, back here, there is a cloth armrest with two cup holders, nice and big. And inside, there is climate controls and um, there is an off button, temperature modes fan speed in the bottom there is 112 volt and that's how the front of this palisade looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 hyundai palisade se i would like to thank key hyundai and nick here in milford Connecticut for providing me this palisade if you guys are interested and if you guys are around make sure to come and check them out i'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please like and subscribe and as always i'll see you next time